Hello YouTube, I'm Jonah and today I'm going to replace my old water shutoff valve. So I'm downstairs in my basement laundry room and take a look. Looks like another DIY. What do you think? Yep, that's right. One of my shutoff valve is leaking bad. And this valve goes outside to my hose. And so if you're new to my channel and you find my video interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Alright, the first thing I do is shut off my main water source. So I went to the supply store and picked up this new propane torch kit because my old one wasn't working properly. I really like this torch kit because it has that trigger start. And a new half inch shutoff valve. And a MAP Pro Gas. I don't like using this blue propane. I seem to get better results with the yellow MAP Pro. So I switched it out to this yellow MAP Pro. It burns hotter and easier to work with. I'm also going to need two half inch copper coupling connector which I had extra from my last DIY. And I have an extra half inch copper pipe in which I'll cut two one and a half inch long tubes. Now I cut my two pieces one and a half inch long. Just make sure you rotate in the direction of the arrow. Also good to mention, wear your PPE. Safety glasses and gloves are always good when doing this type of job. Then I'll sand half inch from each end, but just enough to score it and give it a rough surface. Cleaning and scoring the metal will give it a better seal. Then I take my water shutoff valve and brush the inside, like so. I also want to create a rough surface inside. I use only lead free tinning flux. I generously brush the flux into one of the holes like so. Then I brush the flux on the outside of my connecting piece. Then I install them together like so. Before you start to solder, don't forget to open up your valve. This will help dissipate the heat and gases in the valve. Now I'll proceed to solder the two pieces together. So I concentrate the heat on the shutoff valve and not the tube. And because the solder will be attracted to the heat, it will automatically go inside to create the seal. And there we go. It's not pretty, but it works for me. Now I brush the inside of my coupler and I'll do both sides. Then I'll flux the outside of the tube like so. Then flux the inside of my coupling. Then I marry them together. Then I solder them together. Same thing as before, I concentrate the heat on the coupling and the solder will be attracted to the heat and will go inside and seal. Now on the other side of my shutoff valve, I flux the inside. And I flux the outside of my connecting tube. Then I marry them together. Just a small note, notice that arrow 
Just remember when you install it, notice the water flow. After I finish soldering them together, I let it cool off for 10-15 minutes. After about 10-15 minutes of cooling off, I flux the connecting tube. Then I flux the coupling and I marry them together. Then I solder them together. I concentrate the heat on the coupling and the solder will be attracted to the heat and go inside to make the seal. I know professional plumbers are going to complain. It's not pretty, but it still works for me. Now I brush the inside of my coupling just to score it and make it rough. And by cleaning this out, it makes a better seal. And after about 10 minutes of cooling off, I flux the inside of both the couplings. Now I'll measure off where I'm going to be cutting the lines. It's going to be about halfway between each coupling. Now I open up the valve just to release any little water that has backed up. Notice all the black gunk that has built up around the stop valve. I think the hard water has disintegrated the black rubber or nylon that seals inside the shut off valve. Now I'll cut off the pipe and I just pay attention to the rotation of the arrow. Then I'll sand off both the ends. Now I flux the inside of the coupling and the outside of the pipe. Now remember, before you install it, the position of the arrow for the water flow. There's also a good time for you to adjust the valve. What's the best position for you ergonomically so you can open and close that valve? And now I proceed to solder them together. I concentrate the heat at the center of the coupling. Therefore the heat will attract the solder and go inside to make the seal. And I noticed at the back the plastic was starting to melt because of the heat. I better take care of that. Safety first. So I installed this to act as my heat shield. I hope the wife doesn't see this. Using her aluminum pan for the turkey for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and after about 10 or 15 minutes of cooling off, I flux the outside of the pipe and also the inside of the coupling. Then I marry them together for the last time. I hope they live happily ever after. <laughs> 
Then I solder them together. I concentrate the heat in the center of the coupling. This way, the solder will be attracted to the heat and go inside to make the seal. And with the mirror, I double check at the back and ah, uh, looks pretty good. Not bad at all. Yeah, looks pretty good for DIY guy. But I'm sure I'm going to hear it from the pros. And after about cooling off for 10-15 minutes, I turn on my main water valve. And looking good, pretty dry, don't see any wet spots at all. I turn the valve off and on just to check for any leaks and still looks good. But I always suggest keep an eye on it for the next couple days, just in case. Excellent, another successful DIY. So if you like my video and found it interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you always get my latest video. Thanks for watching.